attention please the mother of the bride Miss Yvette is going to come up here and she's got a few words to say um, I'd like to start off by just saying thank you to everyone for coming out tonight everybody's had a hand in bringing these two together from the bottom of my heart thank you all for coming and joining us and wishing them the best always I did prepare a little speech but unfortunately I don't have my glasses on so Ethan if you can help your old moms out No, you reading it. Oh, I'm reading it. I'm yeah. reading it for her. My young eyes. I knew this day was coming, just wasn't prepared for it to get here this fast. You know my blessings and well wishes because my expectation is that you will love her, honor her, provide for her, take good care of her, make her, uh, make her happy to the best of your ability, and all the days of your life. I love you both very much and wish you both a lifetime of love and happiness. Mark, you've called me Mama Bear since the day we met. It's fitting because you know I will protect my babies at all costs. So if you hurt my baby girl, know that I don't have any money, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. <laughs> skills that I have acquired over a long career. Long. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. <laughs> if you love my daughter wholeheartedly, forever, I will not look for you. But if you hurt my daughter, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will... Well, you, well, you get the gist. <laughs> Woo! We love you. Welcome to the family, Mark. Welcome to the family, Mark. <laughs> So, what, what does the Father say about today's events? Look forward to your daughter being married, your sons as well. But your daughter stands out more in your mind than anybody else. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Baby, you look absolutely beautiful. Wow. Oh my God. Do you like it? <laughs> wow. That's my girl. Here we go. We're
to Mark and Devon. This is from Monique Marana. On this joyous occasion, Mark, I just wanted to say how proud of you I am and of the individual you have become. A warm, loving, caring, generous, loyal and inclusive soul. Your father would be bursting with pride and joy. Not only am I blessed with you as my son, I am now blessed with your soulmate, Devon. Twelve weeks ago, returning home from another amazing golf weekend with my friends, I walked into our front door to find Devon Sully. Beside myself worried, I tried to establish what had happened. Devon had for the first time lost her ability to speak. She, shouldn't, she couldn't get the words to tell me what had happened. Selfishly, I wondered whether I would have to postpone the surprise I had in store for us that coming Friday when I would ask Devon to be my wife. After a couple of minutes, although it felt like an eternity, Devon sputtered the words, mid hiccup, <laughs> mid winding her breath, we're having a baby. In an overwhelming emotion, I, I too started to cry. I truly feel, unfortunately for others, that 2020 has made me feel the luckiest man alive. Today I marry my best friend, the most beautiful and the sexiest woman on the planet. I also have the privilege of announcing here, in front of our friends and our family, we're having a baby. Good evening, everyone. And thank you for joining us at our wedding. Welcome, everybody. Dear friends and family, we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the union of Devin and Mark. When we, first met, when we first saw them together as a couple, I immediately knew that we had witnessed something special, something I hadn't seen since I locked my own eyes with my wife for the first time. There is certainly a moment when your soul knows it has found its counterpart, and I feel fortunate to have witnessed a couple of those moments now in my lifetime thanks to you two. In the years that they have been together, their love for each other has grown, turning them into the couple that you see before you. The couple I knew they would become from day one, now they are ready to spend the rest of their lives together as husband and wife. I'm honored you've chosen me to make this union and help usher in an incredible next phase of life. So thank you both. It was pure language of the world. It required no explanation, just as the universe needs none as it travels through endless time. 
What the boy felt at that moment was that he was in the presence of the only woman in his life, and that, with no need for words, she recognized the same thing. Because when you know that language, it is easy to understand that someone in the world awaits you, whether it's in the middle of the desert or in some great city. And when two such people encounter each other and their eyes meet, the past and the future become unimportant. There is only that moment and that incredible certainty that everything under the sun has been written by one hand only. It is by that hand that invokes love and creates a twin soul for every person in the world. Without such love, one's dream would have no meaning. Ladies and gents, good evening. Firstly, I'd just love to acknowledge Devon. You look spectacular this evening. You always look spectacular, of course, but tonight you've just raised the bar one step further. 